the higher self. And now we will get to know also about the I am presence, which is the next step, which is the next evolutionary step. In the image, we can see the, the lower self, which is a depiction of a young person. And then behind there is the higher self. And the higher self is more intelligent and already eternal part of you. As we can see, the lower self and higher self are enveloped in the violet flame. And this violet flame is a gift to the planet Earth, to humanity, to heal and transmute all the energies back into the light. And as you can see, there is a very bright golden beam of light shining into, from the I am presence into the higher self. So when we awaken to our higher self, we awaken our inner light, our connection with our eternal self. Awakening into the I am presence is becoming a cosmic being, is becoming a mature spiritual being. The I am presence is so much more powerful and you can see in the image that the radiance is, is, is glorious. It's a very huge radiance with a lot of rays shining everywhere. So the I am presence is, is a spiritual maturity. It is already becoming present here and now. So very often with our higher self we, we connect to know that, <coughs> that we are spiritual beings and we, we can experience a lot of travelings and a lot of various energetic experiences. But with our presence, I am presence, we become fully grounded in the now. The mind has very little influence on the I am presence. So that part is the part which is always in the now always present, always here, always in the now. The, the progression is, is really exponential. So human beings are evolving towards full connection with their I am presence. That evolution is taking us to the golden age. And that is also known, I am presence is also known as the Christ consciousness. Also known in, in other terms as a cosmic consciousness. So, while higher self is individualized form of yourself, I am presence is, 
is non-personal and therefore it is a lot bigger. <coughs> so I am presence is, is also known as being the son or daughter of God. And therefore God is always evident, is always there and always uh, seeing that it is everywhere. So you already have a sense that it is everywhere and everywhere you look you can actually sense that connection with God. So, so therefore Christ consciousness means that you are a son or daughter of God. Because there is a constant knowing, feeling, sensing that God is here. So that is a really major evolutionary step and humanity is awakening to their I am presence. As many of you know that on the spiritual journey you experience many, many spiritual experiences which are mainly about energetics and they're like going out of your body, coming back and um, like playing around um, in, in, in the spiritual world. But I am presence is, is literally standing on the top of the mountain and being fully here, fully now. And you're, you're at that top of the mountain and you can see already the whole valley. So you have already uh, you are already very familiar with the spiritual scene, with the spiritual experiences. I am presence, yes, it means that you are already one feet in the spiritual and one feet in the physical. You are like standing on, you, on two feet, very grounded. However, obviously, to step further into enlightenment is to ground yourself even more two feet in the physical and two feet in the spiritual. So to master this, the physical and the, all the spiritual dimensions. But higher, the I Am Presence is already very firmly in the physical and very firmly in the spiritual. So as we awaken into the higher self, we just step one feet in the spiritual dimension. And therefore there are ins and outs and ups and downs and a lot of still kind of, you know, ups and downs and it's a bit, can be a bit like a roller coaster ride. But stepping into your I am presence is fully grounding in the here, in the now, in the physical and spiritual as well. So that is already spiritual maturity, becoming, we can say, a spiritual adult. So we are now awakening to that part within us and, and as you can see many people in, in our community are awakening to this new consciousness of, of presence. So this gives us much more clearer insight that it is not only the presence but it is also the I am presence as the aspect of you. The, the process of, um, in terms of the map of spirituality as you know, higher self is awakening into 440 and then it is about gaining that inner wisdom, then it is about opening the inner love, stepping into 500s, then it is about the consciousness of oneness, which is 540, and only then stepping into the 600s, which is I am presence. So this is why it, it, it requires quite a lot of work, quite a lot of spiritual integration to step fully into that I am presence. And 
in, uh, in the non-duality terminology, it is stepping away from the mind, stepping away from the movements of the mind. As you know, the mind is, is, is moving primarily in the past or into the future, and that is a lot about bringing your mind, bringing yourself fully in the now. So you are stepping beyond the movement of the mind. And even if in meditation you experience any experiences, it, you, you still recognize that it is much more important to actually be present in the now than to fly away into any kind of spiritual experiences of which there can be many, many, many. So the, the actual process is stepping beyond the mind, is becoming fully present. And I've been speaking already uh, for, for a long time about becoming fully present. And now it is uh, gaining more integration to know that in that moment of now, beyond the mind, there is your I am presence. So it is you who is actually present beyond the mind, beyond the lower mind and beyond the higher mind, because higher self is also like a higher mind. So you are stepping really beyond the mind, beyond any past and any future and being fully centered in the here and in the now. So this is why it is so much more powerful because even with the higher self you can easily float in the mind and experience all kinds of um, cloudy, you know, on the cloud experiences or step into the dark places of the mind as well. While in the I am presence you are fully establishing yourself in this moment beyond the mind. So this is why it is depicted as, as, as this huge golden beam of light, which is, which is very gloriously here and now. It is the light of awareness. Because in, in 400 you awaken your inner light. Then you, that is the higher self and then the, the I am presence. So, in, in this depiction, there are, there are two lights, as you can see, the golden light and the light, the white light, which surrounds everything. That light, that white light is actually coming from the heart of the I am presence. As you can see, it is behind the I am presence and it is beaming everywhere out and also right into all the lower selves. So that light of awareness, we could say, is the, the heart of the I am presence. And also the, the second light which comes out of it is the golden light. And then there is the I am presence as personification of that golden and that, that light of awareness. Because as you step into 700s, into the, the first enlightenment, is you clearly realize and you, you fully activate the light of awareness. So, as, as you follow the, the logic, as you follow the progression, it is the heart of the I Am Presence, which is the light of awareness, and the manifestation of it is the golden light, which is actually the universal energy. So the universal energy, the universal light, is the, the golden light. And, and that is the primary... Uh, manifested color in the 700s, in the first stage of enlightenment. 
and some of you are already working with the golden light and you are already connecting with these energies so this is like a further evolutionary step to step into the 700s into the heart of I am presence So this is our evolutionary step and this is the spiritual maturity. So the first step is to step into the 500s, which is to step into this new fifth dimensional way of living. And then the second step is to mature into the I am presence is to actually fully ground yourself and that is also known as the heaven on earth. So when you step into 500s, you step into the heaven. Yes, your soul goes to heaven, you experience all these visions and all these heavenly experiences. But in 600s, in the I am presence, you are stepping back and you are, you, are, you are bringing that heaven on earth. So you already have these heavenly vibrations inside you and now you are rooting and bringing them back on earth. So therefore it is known as heaven on earth. And this is what we are manifesting as, as humanity. Heaven on earth majority of the people still live in ignorance but millions are awakening to recognize that we are actually coming into the heaven and then we need to bring all these vibrations here on earth and given a period of time we will manifest that heaven on earth as the the physical angelic beings as the physical I am presence beings so this is where humanity is going and this is what is actually happening here on this planet earth exactly how I always saw myself and, and this golden thing like up there that's why I did I was the first five minutes I was just looking at it because it's exactly how I see myself. And I never saw this picture before or something like that. And um, there is um, exactly like this. I saw, I saw it and said, hey, this is the higher self. And I said, it's exactly yes. how I see it. Yes. And so I have proof somehow that like... You, you know that is true. Yeah. And, you, and actually I can see when you meditate that there is this golden beam and you are like much higher than, than yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. higher self. And that's what I always see, this is like, you know, I see this on a picture and I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it actually more. <laughs> yes, it makes a total sense. Yeah. Yes, and when I, when I see spiritual people who are maturing into that, I can actually see very clearly their higher self and their I am presence. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, this is like, I feel it here more than before. <laughs> <laughs> and it, is, it feels like as a very powerful experience, yeah, isn't it? Yes. 